it's cutie mark. I don't know if you heard that on my new microphone. That was Yoko, my guide dog. He was laid down next to me and she was just going, she was just snorting in her sleep. Um, anyway, I digress. <laughs> This is Perfect Harvest MLP Studios. Hello, every pony, and welcome to the show. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been in front of the camera, but uh, Perfect Harvest here. I hope you're well. So I'm excited for a couple of reasons. Firstly, is because I used my cost of living credit again last week to buy something which I've wanted but also needed. Um, for this channel and to make it more professional and hopefully this sounds okay because I bought myself a professional microphone and uh, it didn't cost me anything had it cost me anything it would have cost me only about 37 quid which is not bad considering it's a professional microphone and it can even go echoey so it sounds like you're in my thoughts which is another matter entirely but anyway Anyway, the other reason why I'm really excited today is because I've just come back from town and I've kind of had a perfect harvest because I found some Matchbox convoy trucks from the 80s uh, from my friend at the market. But more importantly, and the reason why I'm making this video, you know how much I love charity shops and the, I found my first proper MLP bundle. Not proper in terms of other people who I've seen who found bundles from charity shops on YouTube um, because they've found like 20 or 30 or whatever. I'm not sure how many is in this bag, but yeah, we're gonna look at it and we're gonna react to it together. I'll just show it in front of you first. Here it is. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be reacting to this together. I've sort of got an idea of what's in here, but other things will be a complete surprise and it's sellotaped up. So, the first thing that I am picking out is this blind bag pony, who I can see is Rainbow Dash. I'm going to have to go and look her up on MLP merch. So it turns out that this Rainbow Dash, she's crystal and slightly translucent, is absolutely placid in glitter. She is apparently from Wave 4, um, which I don't think I have any figures from. I don't have her. So that's a good start. Let me delve into the bag of delights. Second one. So this is obviously Pinkie Pie. And I, I thought, because she was one of the first ponies that I saw. And, oops, sorry, love. I thought she was from Wave 11, I think, which was the neon bright one. But I can see again, her mane and tail are not painted and she is translucent. So I'm guessing she is from wave four again, but yeah, I don't have her either. I don't think. There's another blind bag figure in here, I think, if I can find her. We might as well get all the blind bag figures out of the way first. Ah yes, there it is. And I'm guessing, yeah, this is obviously wave four rarity. Yeah, actually quite similar to the best gift ever blind boxes rarity very clear crystal it almost looks like she's made out of ice so those as far as i know are the only blind bag figures i'm just going to pull out the next pony that i can feel oh my goodness right i've never seen this one before i can vouch that i don't have her it's princess cadence and um, she's got tattoos all over her she from the cutie mark magic range and she's got fabric wings or sort of, yeah, shiny fabric wings. Her tail is actually in okay condition. Um, her hair's a bit frizzy, but again, not majorly bad. But yeah, I've no idea. I will have to look up what collection she's from. So according to MLP merch, she is from the Rainbow Power range, not Cutie Mark Magic. She's got little hearts going all, all up and down her legs. She's got the heart on the bridge of her nose. And yeah, again, you know, not in amazing condition, but I don't have her. 
so I'm counting that as another win. Oh yeah, I didn't realise that her wings actually flapped up and down. This is goodbye so far. I was worried that there were going to be ones that I'd already got. But, ah, okay, right. So this next one, I suspected we might have a few of these. It's a G1 fakie. Um, yeah, so it's one of these ones that you s I see these in charity shops all the time. In fact, 99% of charity shops I go in have ponies like this. Um, so it's just a typical G1 copy molded body, except it's got a unicorn horn and folded up Pegasus wings. The cutie mark is unintelligible. I originally thought it was a butterfly of some sort, then I thought it was a flower. Is it just a splodge? I don't know. No maker's mark uh, apart from 5188, if that means anything. But uh, yeah, I mean, she's got a little star behind her eyes on both sides. So, you know, they've done more than Hasbro in that respect. And next pony out of the box. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I think I've just had a heart attack because I've seen flipping hell. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I've just picked cherry berry out of the bag. Pearlized cherry berry. <laughs> and, and, and this entire lot, I should say, cost three pounds from Salvation Army and wow uh, I mean her hair is frizzy because she's from the Explore Equestria line but it's Cherry Berry I do not believe this <laughs> guys I'm, so, I'm sorry it's just, <laughs> this is the, one of the luckiest days I've ever, ever had in charity shop hunting I mean I've had better luck with like dinky toys or matchbox or corgi or whatever but not with not with mlp really um this is amazing this is the bundle to or end all bundles really um i think it i think it means cherry berry let me just check can confirm this is cherry berry and on mlp merch forgot that she was actually one of the ponies that have been on my wish list for ages <laughs> so what a find eh and we're not even finished. Um, I think there's... Oh, actually, God, I've just realised there's another blind bag figure in here. And it is clearly way for Fluttershy, I want to say. Yeah, because it's the old Rainbow Dash mould. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely Fluttershy. Um, so I don't have her either from Wave 4. So that's good. And then, yeah, this is the last one. And it's Water Cuties Lily Blossom. Now, would you believe this is the only one out of this lot that I've actually got already? <laughs> but, you know, not a bad duplicate, you know, because usually it's just some sort of random regular Pinkie Pie or Fluttershy or whatever. But for it to be a duplicate of Water Cutie's Lily Blossom, I'll take that, you know. But that's that bag. It's not the end of the charity shop haul, though, for today, because just before I caught the bus home, I went into the Wood Green charity shop in town and I found Spike. Now, I believe that because he is the three or four inch Spike, that he's the one that came with that singing Twilight Sparkle fashion style from the MLP movie line. And he does look more 2017 stylized. His head turns and he's it's still got his fins obviously yeah you know quite a solid figure a little bit flexible on the fins but apart from that yeah I couldn't resist him he was a he was a pound so on the, all these ponies I spent four pound altogether and I'm bloody pleased with that <laughs> is that sad anyway that's the haul and so here is the haul altogether and like I say, I'm bloody pleased. Um, I'm sorry I'm, if I sound like I'm being unprofessional here, especially when I pulled out Cherry Berry. I just could not resist sharing this with you. So 
Yeah, and hopefully the microphone comes out okay, and I will definitely be using it in future videos. So, all in all, a good day, really. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment if you fancy, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video, whenever that will be. Cheers for watching, guys. Take care. Oh, oh no. No, it's, it's recording and I don't want it to. Stop. And you'll open up your window and you'll suddenly find that a peanut has knocked on your door. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But if you understand this, then you're mad. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And the singing is also quite bad.